Hello everybody! If you want to know how to capture gameplay from your gaming console in 1080p while playing in 4K, then this video will help you out. Let's get to it! Alright, so I'll briefly go over my old setup. This will probably look very similar to what you guys was running. So the PlayStation was going to the HDMI in of the Ripsaw, then the HDMI out was going to my monitor. And yeah, the Ripsaw was just connected to uh, my PC through USB 3. Obviously everything worked perfectly fine, but as soon as I upgraded my monitor to a 4K one, because of the Ripsaw's maximum resolution of 1080p, there was no way I could have a 4K signal left on my monitor. So as soon as I connect my 4K monitor to the Ripsaw, it couldn't handle the signal. So what was happening was the resolution of the monitor automatically gets downscaled to 1080p. So when I looked online for solutions, most things I came up were either for not to use a capture device at all. So basically just use the PS4 share play feature, but that's too limited for me. Another option will be to uh, go for a 4K capture device, but uh, seeing the current price of these things, it's not something I'm willing to pay for. And also taking in mind, capturing in 4K is a whole totally different beast. It's going to take a lot more resources from my PC, a lot more processor power, a lot more hard drive space. And that's just something I'm not willing to do at this point. So then I ended up looking into 4K HDMI splitters and downscalers. And that brings us to my new setup. As you can see, my PlayStation 4 is now connected to a 4K HDMI splitter. This will take the signal from the source and put it into multiple displays. It's very important when looking for a splitter that it's got EDIT, which stands for Extended Display Identification Data. Simply explained, it allows devices, for example a splitter, to learn what the connected device devices are capable of. So, for example, when I connect a 1080p and a 4K monitor to a splitter without EDIT, the splitter will output 1080p because that will be the maximum resolution that both monitors are capable of. A splitter with EDIT will be able to say learn the maximum resolution for both displays and output them accordingly. Also important to keep attention to is the refresh rate the splitter is capable of. My screen runs at 60Hz, so if your splitter is only going to be capable of accepting 30Hz, then you're going to have problems. If we then look at the downscaler, the downscaler will receive the 4K signal from the splitter and output a 1080p signal for the ripsaw. Now, since the splitter has got EDID, there's no problem for the second output of the splitter to be in 4K, and that signal will go to the monitor. When I was looking for splitters and downscalers, I had a lot of problems because most of the ones I found were only capable of a refresh rate of 30 Hz, and yeah, obviously that wasn't suitable for me. Also, a lot of them were very expensive. Eventually, I ended up on the website from Clear Vision Systems based in the UK. I rang them up for advice about my situation and it was very, very helpful. They've offered a very reasonable price solution for my problem and I called nothing else but recommend them highly. So hopefully this video helped you out. I'll leave all the details in the description. If you have any questions or feedback, make sure to leave them in the comments. And if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao, ciao.